And in this video, we are going to see how we can use Google Translate API to translate text in our Android Studio Java project. Here, you have to download this Word file and then copy this implementation code. In the Gradle script folder, you will see this build.gradle module version. Now when you scroll, you will see this dependencies section inside that you have to paste the dependency code and then press sync now. Okay, now we can open our layout file. I'm going to change this layout type into linear layout and then orientation of this as vertical. So firstly, I'm going to include uh, edit text here. So this edit text will have layout width as match parent and layout height as wrap content. So a uh, ID for this I'm going to say edit text uh, letters. So we need a hint for this. I will say enter a text. All right. Now we can add the button, button, and then the layout with should be included. I will say match parent and height as rep content. So the text will be translate. So I'm going to define the ID for this at plus ID for slash btn translate. Okay. Now we can open our Java file. Here I'm going to declare my edit text, private edit text, edit text letters so we have to say inside on create method edit text letters is equals to find view by id r dot id dot the identifier that we have provided here for the edit text we have to put now uh, there's a thing we don't have to use this variable name as same as this identifier but uh, for more readability i use that here so the button I will say private button btn translate okay now I will say btn translate is equals to find view by id r dot id dot btn translate it is the id of the layout component here okay now I'm going to create the click event for this btn translate dot set on click listener new on click listener inside this I'm going to check whether text is empty if uh, text utils is empty edit text letters dot get text to a string if this is empty we can say a message text is required now in the else statement we can do the translation so here uh, before that we have to go to the Google Cloud and then create our project go to the link that I included in the word file also you can directly search Google Cloud console in the Google search here you can try their free version when you are creating your account they are providing you 300 credits to do testings and uh, do learnings I will agree and continue here we should see this libraries but the thing is you have to select your project here if you don't have any projects you can create a new one by pressing here click new project I will say translate example create the project will be created once it is finished you can see that here okay the project is created the next thing that we have to do as I told you go to this site and then select API and services if you cannot see that here you have to scroll and find that API and services and go to libraries here in the libraries you are going to type translate Select this cloud translation API. Click enable. Now it will ask you to enable billing. 
so it may ask me some details okay now it is fine you can get your api so after you enable in this and by allowing them to receive your billing details you can go to api and services again select credentials in this credentials i'm going to create credential here and then select api key so after selecting the api key the ap the api key will be created so here i'm going to copy this api and then uh, we have to paste that here in our project i will say private string api is equals to this one inside double quotations we can provide okay and after that open the word file copy this importing codes paste that here in the top now open the word file again copy these codes from target lang to translated text now in the translation process we can paste that here now we have to replace our api key with this one also the text of this edit text letters dot get text dot to string and after that you can receive this translated text here this target language means the language code of the particular language that you want to get translated as for example if you want your text to be translated into arabic you can open this word file here for arabic you can see this is the language code ar we can put ar here okay now uh, after that we can get the translated text with this string now here as the argument we can pass in translate dot translate options dot source language we can also set the source language that means from which language you are going to translate for example if you are going to translate uh, uh, let's say japanese this one japanese j a so we can say j a in a variable a string source lang as j a and then put that here j a uh, source language okay now it will identify your source language the japanese text and then it will translate your text into arabic which is ar okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you and also you will find this project github link in the description also the google drive link